Ai șarjumă, ai o nahasernele pe veră. Să gana șarjumă, pe veri se paga nu ciudă ci. This movement was launched by the National Democratic Alliance. But it does not belong to the alliance alone. It belongs to all patriotic people. First and foremost, it belongs to everyone gathered here, as well as our supporters who are following us from afar, and of course, all those that support sovereignty of Armenia. We have said it many times, and we will keep on repeating that this is a non-partisan national liberation movement. The only flag for us is the Armenian tricolor. We must all stand united under that flag. Those who understand and correctly assess what has happened to us for the past 30 years and have tasted the bitter fruits that it bore for the past three years must all come together and stand with us under the flag. It seems as though none of us will be able to bear to see the images that we have been seeing these past days. And one gets the impression that we won't be able to. But we Armenians know that we have no right to succumb to another genocide. We will definitely overcome this disaster and will definitely get back on our feet. This national liberation movement is a non-partisan movement of sovereign people for their sovereignty. This is a state-building independence movement to liberate Armenia from occupation. We Armenians have no right to refer to what we had over the past 30 years as a state, much less a national state. Let's not kid ourselves. This assembly is a political endeavor for achieving national sovereignty. Dear compatriots, I would like to give special thanks to those who are gathered here. And before we start our protest march, I would like to convey meaning and explain what it is that we are trying to achieve with our daily protest marches. I am certain that the majority or perhaps the absolute majority of the people gathered here know what I am going to say. But it is for those who are following us from a distance on the internet. What is the objective of our daily political marches and rallies? At this stage, our key objective is to grow in numbers. We must grow our numbers. If the mass media provided coverage of our political rallies and marches instead of keeping us under total news blockage, then don't doubt for a second that the suffering that we have gone through over the past month would have resulted in 10 times more people here today. Don't doubt for a second. Nevertheless, we must continue our persistent struggle. What is it that we are trying to convey with our political marches and rallies? We make speeches and walk for hours, we get exhausted, we get pushed and shoved by the police. But all this has a major political significance, both internally and externally. But first and foremost, externally. West has made a decision that it will enter the South Caucasus. They are going to come to Armenia and Artsakh. During this period, the West is closely monitoring the events on the ground to see who are the eligible powers that can be in the next government after the inevitable dismissal of Pashinyan's regime. They are looking for those who will not compromise the sovereignty of Armenia and will be true to its national interests. Thanks to the suffering that you endure every day with our political rallies and marches, we are going to show to the world that the Alliance is the political power that has Armenia's national interests in mind and will not compromise its sovereignty.